In this tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo guys kung paano mag-fill up ng tax info using your mobile phone. Or hindi nyo kailangan guys gumamit ng laptop kung wala kayong available na laptop. Hi guys, okay i-click ang manage tax info. Add tax info. I-enter ang password to verify it's you. And then pagka-enter ng password, i-click ang next. Okay, i-click ang individual. Are you a citizen of residence of the United States? No. And then next. And then i-click on W-8BN and then start W-8BN form. Okay, lalabas ang name of individual, ang name na nilagay mo. I-click ang country of residence. Ilagay ang Philippines kung ikaw ay nasa Pilipinas. Uh, ilagay ang foreign teen kung ikaw ay merong uh, teen ID. This optional unless you are claiming a tax treaty. So, ilagay ang teen ID. And then next. Okay. Ilagay ang address. Address line 1. Address line to guys is optional. Pwedeng hindi niya na siya lagyan. Suburb. And then city. Postal code and province. And then i-click ang mailing address is same as permanent residence address. And then click next. Okay sa taas. Uh, are you claiming a register rate of withholding under a tax? Okay, i-click ang yes. And then i-click ang box. And then i-select ang country. Then i-click ang tatlong box ng mga services na gusto mong piliin. Mas maganda guys na i-click nyo sila lahat. I-click nyo lahat ng box. Ayan. Okay guys, pakaklik ng lahat ng box. Ah, balik kayo sa pinakauna. Okay. Article and paragraph. Article 8 and paragraph 1 and withholding rate 0%. The next one is 15%. Article 13 and paragraph 2A. Wala namang ibang option. Yun lang. I-click nyo lang siya. Okay. And then same lang din siya dun sa pinakababa. Article and paragraph 13 and 2A. With the holding rate, 15% din, guys. And then, i-click ang next. Pagka-click ng next, makikita nyo yung form. And then, i-click ang box. Then, next. Okay, ilagay ulit ang full legal name. Same lang sa nilagay nyo yung full legal name kanina. This is signature of beneficial owner. Are you the person listed in the signature section? Dalawa yung pagpipilian nyo dyan guys.
So, piliin nyo yung yes, I am the person listed in the signature section. And I am completing this form on my own behalf. And then, click next. Then, status change up to David. Ah, dalawa yung pagpipilian dyan, guys. So, kung ikaw ay... Okay, dito muna tayo sa as the individual entity. So, i-click muna yung no. And then, i-click yung box. And then, are you providing tax info for a new or existing payments? Do, dalawa nga yung pagpipilian dyan. So, piliin nyo guys, kapag uh, kayo ay nakareceive na ng payment, yung pangalawa ay yung that has pre previously received payments. Or kung hindi ka pa naman nakareceive ng payment, i-click nyo po yung hasn't received payments. Yung sa pinakataas. And then, i-submit nyo guys. Okay, pagka-submit nyo guys, oh, it's done. So, pwede nyo siyang i-check kung tama yung mga finale up nyo. Andyan, pwede nyo siyang i-review. And then, kung tama naman guys, wala na kayong ibang gagawin, marireceive nyo agad yung Google Payments email nila sa inyong Gmail account. And then, kung may mali ka naman na nilagay, so pwede ka mag-resubmit ng new form. Thank you guys. Hope you like this video. Please hit thumbs up, subscribe, and hit nyo na rin po yung notification bell para lagi po kayo updated sa ating mga bagong videos. Thank you for watching.